Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're here at the park in Monterey, California. Kevin, what did you find there? There's a sign. The sign says all dogs must be on a leash. Leash, this is a leash. So the dog is on a leash. Pronunciation, we see the E-A making the long E sound like green beans. Leash, all dogs must be on a leash. Let's talk about this word must. We don't use the word must in conversational English. We say have to or need to. Can you give an example? Your dog needs to be on a leash. Your dog has to be on a leash. But we see must with signs because it's more formal English. There it is on a sign. Hey Kevin, where are we? We're here at the playground and we're going to learn some playground equipment. Let's get started. What preposition do we use? For playground? Yep. We are at the playground. Use at for playground. At the. We're at the playground. How do we pronounce playground? Do we stress both syllables? Yes, it's a compound word, so we stress both syllables. Playground. The first vowel is A, like say and pay, play. And in ground, you hear the ow sound, like about and around, ground. This is a playground, and we're at the playground. Lisa, what are you doing? I'm climbing on the monkey bars. Monkey bars? Yep, these are monkey bars. Can you do it? Is it safe? I'm not sure, let me try. Can you go all the way across? No, I'm too weak. Why are they called monkey bars? Because I'm like a monkey and I'm climbing. Oh, I see that. Yeah, you kind of look like a monkey. Yep. So these are called monkey bars. And I was swinging on the monkey bars. Is it hard to climb on the monkey bars? Yeah, it's very hard for me. You can't do it? No, I'm too weak. Okay, let me try. Here, you okay. take the camera. Oh my gosh, this looks hard. Let's see if you're stronger than me. Oh, this is hard. Can Kevin, you see my what are belly? you doing? Can you see my belly? <laughs> yes, you can. I'm not doing that then. <laughs> okay, let me try this. Oh! You're back? Oh. This is easy. Ow. You're cheating, Kevin. <laughs> Maybe Emily can climb oh, on the monkey bar. do it. I got you. Oh, you're supposed to go that way. Yeah. We didn't do it right. Okay. Come on, Emily. <laughs> All right, she's climbing on the monkey bars. Come does on, Emily. Look, does she look like a monkey? <laughs> I don't know. She did it! Good job, Emily. Hey, Kevin, what did you find there? This is a ladder. It's a playground ladder, but it's still a ladder. And it has these things. Ladders always have these things. What are they called? They're called rungs. This is one rung of the ladder. Rung, use the short uh, like cup and up. Rung. One rung, one, two, three, four, five rungs. There are five rungs on this ladder. Let me climb the ladder. Sure, go ahead, climb the ladder. Okay, it's pretty easy. Do you climb on the ladder or do you just say climb the ladder? Climb the ladder. You climb a tree, you climb a ladder. No preposition on. So you don't say climb on a ladder, just climb the ladder? That's right, I climbed the ladder. What did you find there, Lisa? This is a slide and I'm gonna go down the slide. All right, let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Go down the slide. Ta-da! So I went down the slide. We say go down the slide. In the past, went down the slide. Did you go down the slide? Yep, I went down the slide. Was it fun? Not really. I think I'm too big for it. I think so. Kevin, what are you doing? I'm balancing. What are you balancing on? I'm balancing on the balance beam. This is a balance beam. That's what it's called because you balance on a balance beam. It's difficult, but it's easier than the monkey bars. That's true. How do you pronounce it? Beam. So beam is a word we use for big pieces of steel like this. They're called beams. And we use a long E sound like green beans. Beam. This is a beam, a metal beam. And because you balance on it, it's called a balance beam. I balanced on the balance beam. You did a great job. Thank you. What are you doing now? Well, I, don't, I guess you're supposed to jump on these. But if you jump with your feet together like this, that's hop. That's a different kind of jump. So you can hop on these pedestals. 
on these little things, these little stools. Hop. How do you pronounce it? Hop. Use the short ah sound like stop and hot. Hop. Hop in the present, in the past, hopped. I hopped on this pedestal. What do bunnies do? Bunnies hop. Just like that. We found some different equipment. This equipment is designed for two to five year olds. Kids that are two to five years old. What do you call them? They're called toddlers. This equipment is designed for toddlers. How do you pronounce toddler? The first syllable is the open ah sound like hot and stop. Ta, toddler, toddler, it's two syllables. One toddler, two toddlers, small children. Small children are called toddlers. Can we say two equipment, three equipment? No, the word equipment is not countable. I cannot say one equipment and two equipments. It's just equipment. That's why I say the equipment is, it's singular. The equipment is designed for toddlers. What if I want to count it? If you want to count it, you can say a piece. This is one piece of equipment. This is one big piece of equipment. But I cannot say this is a big equipment. I have to use the word piece if you want to count it. This is a big piece of equipment. What can toddlers do here? Well, they have different activities. For example, here we have drums. Kevin, can you play the drums? Yes, I can play the drums. Remember, the is optional. I can say, I can play the drums or I can play drums. So both are correct. Both are correct. Yeah, Great. I can play these drums anyway. These are easy. Pronunciation, you see the DR together make the j, j sound, like juice and jump. Plus the R sound, j, j, dr, drum. One drum, two drums. Use the short uh sound like cup and up. Drums. I found two plastic drums for toddlers. And what do you call a person who plays drums? The person who plays drums is called a drummer. I am not a good drummer. I am not a professional drummer. Kevin, what are you doing? I'm playing with this equipment designed for toddlers. You have this one big thing here, this wheel, but it's not called a wheel, it's called a gear. These are called gears. I have one, two, three, four gears. And all the gears are engaged. When gears connect like this, we use the word engage. This first gear is engaged with the second gear. And they're all engaged. So when I turn this gear, it turns all the gears. These are called gears. Lisa, what did you find? I found a swing. And I'm gonna swing on the swing. Wait, so swing is the noun and the verb? That's right. This is a swing and I'm swinging on the swing. Not in the swing, but on the swing? That's right. I'm swinging on the swing. Is it fun? Yep. Can you jump out of the swing? No, I think I might break my back. Oh, okay. When I was a kid, I used to do that, but not anymore. I'm too old. I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> okay. So if you don't jump out of the swing to stop it, how do you stop swinging when you're finished? I use my feet. What do you do with your feet? I drag my feet. Drag. And, yeah, I drag my feet to stop the swing. Are you dragging your feet on the ground? Yeah, I'm dragging my feet on the ground. But you're still swinging. Okay, Not now anymore. you stopped. So drag, what's the past of drag? In the present, drag. In the past, dragged. Is there, is there another past tense for drag? Or you can say drug. So you can say I dragged or I drug my feet. Both are correct. Did you drag your feet on the ground? Yes, I drug my feet on the ground. Kevin, can you jump off the swing? Sure, I can jump off the swing. Let's First, see. I have to swing. All right, I'm swinging on the swing. And now I'm gonna jump out of the swing. Here we go. I don't think I'll break oh, my back. Hold on, I said jump off the swing. You said jump out? Yeah, do you jump out of the swing? Jump so off the I, swing? I ask you, can you jump off the swing? Yeah, you can jump off the swing or you can jump out of the swing. I guess you can say both. Really? Why not? Here we go, I'm gonna jump. Good job, See, Kevin. it's not dangerous. Okay, Kevin, what did you find there? I found some musical instruments. Let's talk about them. This one, this is a horn instrument. But what's the name of this horn instrument? This is a saxophone. That's right, this is a saxophone. Use the short ass sound like black cat. Sax, this is a saxophone. What about this one, what's this one? This one is also a horn instrument, but what's the name? Is this a trumpet? Yeah, this is a trumpet. Trumpet or some people call them coronets. I don't know if there's a difference, but I hear both, trumpet or coronet. What about that little one over there? This one right here? Yep. That's a harmonica. Pronunciation, 
harmonica. Put the stress on the second syllable. Har, like car and far, har. Mon, like hot and stop, mon, harmon. Harmonica. The last syllable is the short sound, uh, like cup and up. Harmonica. This is a harmonica. Can you play the harmonica? Yeah, I can play the harmonica. Not very well, but I can play it. This is a harmonica, and this is a bugle. A bugle is like a trumpet, but there are no buttons. It's called a bugle. They play it in the military. Bugle, use the short U, like unicorn and uniform. Bu, bugle, bugle. This is a bugle, and I don't know how to play a bugle. What about the French horn? Oh yeah, this is a French horn. This is called a French horn. French, like something from the country France. French plus horn, because this is the horn. That's why it's called a French horn. This is a horn instrument, and this is a horn instrument, because I have this thing called a horn. And this thing is called a French horn. Is there another horn instrument? Oh yeah, this one. This is a horn instrument too. And this is called a trombone. Put the stress on the second syllable, trombone. This is a trombone. 